valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod, thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely the goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Lord is my life, my salvation, whom shall I fear? Lord is the strength of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked and my enemies came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and they fell. Though a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The war should rage against me, and this I would be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me, in the secret of his tabernacle he shall hide me and set me upon the rock. And now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies round about me. Therefore I will offer sacrifices of joy. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy upon me and answer me. When you said, seek my faith, I said, O Lord, my faith was your faith will I seek. Hide me not far away. From you and put not your servant away in anger. You've been my help, leave me not, neither forsake me, O God, of my salvation. Praise the Lord. Amen. I believe we're ready to begin. We certainly great each and every one of you who are here on today as we celebrate uh, the life and the legacy and the blessed life and example set by Sister Josephine Bailey. We praise God uh, for the example and being able to be with us until most recently in sunset of June 5th of 2020. And to all of the family and to all of the friends and all of the loved ones in the community, we just bless you for coming uh, to testify of what she meant to you on this particular day because God is truly to be praised for all that she has been to all of us. Yes. At this time, we want to proceed. Uh, we again say to the family, we love you so much and we are so grateful. Uh, that God is putting his arms around you and we are here as your community to bless you and to help you through. Uh, but we are going to follow the over order of service as it has been outlined by the family. Let us prepare for that and let us open at this time uh, with a prayer. God, we thank you. You are our help in ages past. God, you are our help and present help in this particular moment. And the word of God tells us that uh, we can come to you because you are our refuge and our fortress, God. You are the secret place in which we find comfort in times such as these. And so now, God, as we have come to celebrate uh, the life of this virtuous and outstanding and amazing woman of God, we pray, God, for those of us who remain, that you would please comfort our hearts and be with us and allow us to take refuge in you. Find, God, that in your presence there is fullness of joy and there is peace in the midst of our pain. Father, we pray particularly that you will please bless the Bailey family. We pray, God, that you will give them strength. We pray, God, that they will continue to give you praise and glory for this mother, for this grandmother, for this great grandmother, for this aunt, for this friend, for this wonderful woman who lived her life, God, yes, in the Lord midst Jesus. of all things to not even complain, but to be content with her life and content yes, with serving her God. And so, God, we praise you today for yes, all things Lord that Jesus. shall take place as we memor have memories of her in a great way. And we do ask yes. for your Holy Spirit to abide and to allow us, Lord God, just to continue to lift up your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise God. And so at this time, we will have, uh, as it follows, the scripture reading by Reverend Paul Campbell. And then we'll go forward with special remarks uh, from uh, her son. Amen. Amen. Out of the book of Deuteronomy, chapter, chapter 6, verse 5. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all of thine heart, and with all of thy soul, and with all of thy might. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk, shalt talk of them. When thy sitteth in thine house, and when thy walketh by the way, 
and when thou liest down and when thou risest up, and thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thy hand, and they shall be a frontlet between thine eyes, and thou shalt write them upon the post of thine house and on the gate. Yes. Jesus said to Josephine, Well done, for thy good and faithful service. Well done. I, um, I want to say something. Um, my brother called me. Hello, Mark. Yeah, Mama just died. What? I died. This is all that I know. A woman of strong strength and intelligence. My mom. Not my brother, not my sister, not my mom. <laughs> but my mom. Very good But to me, she was just my mom. She made me feel like that. And in my mind, she was just mine. I know she was there too. She was mine. Speciality. What's her speciality? Think of her children, grandchildren, and grandchildren, her whole life. Not just them, but everyone, everyone that she encountered. My entire life of her. Her specialty. But for me, was, she was just my mom. She had net for knowing when I wasn't feeling special. She was mad to talk almost daily. What am I going to do without my mom? My one and only true love. She could take herself for me. I was seven or eight. She knew I never felt like I belonged an outsider. When I told her that, she didn't love me. I was still 11, and she asked me why. So I felt like she didn't spend time with me. And I know I almost spoke up. I said, you always have a family too. And they don't need you don't need me as much as they need you right now. And I remember after that, Jan would take me everywhere with her and play it. And I know what I said. Special things, just me. She always found a way to make me feel special and important. Never took time for herself. She accepted me with no reservation. She loved me in spite of all my choices. She will always felt like me. She always stayed at that. Just for me. Nobody ever know how much I love her. I will love her forever. I appreciate all the things she did. She what I deserve. She loved me what I deserve myself. That was all things he did to make me feel important and loved and special. Thank you, most of my life was living.
if this technology works. If not, we'll go for it. Okay, it seems that it's not, so we will move forward. Matthew shared with me the other day that Miss Josephine loved the song, I Shall Wear a Crown. And so often we would laugh that our moms did not like the music that we liked. So it really surprised me that she liked this song as it's more contemporary. So today, that's what I'm gonna share with you. I shall wear a crown. Mm. I shall wear a crown. I shall wear a Crown. When it's all over, yeah. when it's all over, I shall see his face. Gonna see the master's face when it's all over. Yeah. When it's all over. Yeah. And your favorite part, Matthew? I'm gonna. Put on my robe, tell the story, how I made it over. See, she's already done that. I'm gonna put on my robe, tell the story, how I made it over. One of these old mornings, and it won't be long. I'm gonna put on my robe, tell the story, how I made it over. No more heartache, no more pain, no more sickness. I'm gonna put on my robe. Let's have a little talk with Jesus. I'm gonna put on my robe. Tell the story how I made it over. And we're gonna do that just as soon as I get home. Soon as I Just as soon as I get home, soon as I get home, just as soon, soon as I get home. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes, Lord. Thank you, God. Praise the Lord. Yes. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Amen and amen and amen again. We look at the time that we have and we recognize the fact that the time is not sufficient to be able to tell the story of Josephine Loretta Bailey. Yeah, we, we, she was born in 1936, and that was another way of life, a life that we of today seem not to be able to understand anymore, a life of family and community. She understood that because she grew in that. And so she took in her family and she made them special. All of her children, all of her grandchildren, all of her great grandchildren, they knew who Grandma Josephine was. And they knew without a shadow of a doubt that she indeed loved them without reservation. It was all that she had to give, and she gave it with all of her might. Yes. Not only that, she reached out into the community. It doesn't make a difference whether it was Black Jack, whether it was uh, West Washington, whether it was Cliff Circle, or anywhere in Kaida County. Everybody knew Josephine Bailey, yes. and they knew that the love that she had for them, yes. they understood that it was without reservation, and not only that, it was the love of Christ yes. that she was giving them Amen. and she gave it yes. constantly she bent over backwards she bent yes. sideways she did all kinds of, <laughs> made all kind of contortions <laughs> in order to facilitate the needs yes. of her friends and most uh, most certainly her family yes. Yes. she did it all she yes. did it all yes. it didn't make a difference what problem you had if you came to Josephine she was going to make a way. Amen. She was going to see what she could do to help you along. And she would tell you, baby, it's all right, God. It's, it's in God's hand. It's in God's hand. I joined this, 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 this clan 35 years ago, and I have been blessed through that time to understand just the kind of love that she had. Love of family. Love of family. She loved her family. And not only that, but she loved people. And she would say, if you're coming over my house, are you coming over Sunday? Well, I know you like uh, turnip greens, so I'm going to cook some turnip greens. Uh, 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 okay, you like cornbread. There will be a big can, pan of cornbread just for you. And when you came over, she made you feel special because she presented you with the things that you loved. And, and that was her way of showing the love that she had for the entire community. She did it not only at one day, she did it every day. It was a constancy for her to continue to provide for people, no matter who they were. And now we have the opportunity, uh, and yet the blessing, to be able to live up to the legacy that she tried to leave. Amen. That legacy of love and understanding. That legacy of family commitment. That legacy of bending over and doing whatever you can in order to help somebody. Yeah. You know, Miss yeah. Josephine, I, I, I sit down last night and I put some things together. And I, I, when I got up here, I said, I, I can't, you know, that, you know, that ain't gonna work. <laughs> that, that, right. That's not gonna work. Not really. I gotta tell the story. I gotta tell the real story. I gotta tell the truth of the story. 
But you know, if the thing is this, is that Hebrews 11 and 1 said, now faith is the substance of things hoped for the and the evidence of things not yeah, seen. Yes, so. and, and then we look at Miss Josephine and we understand that that thing was transcended a little bit. And it says that, uh, it states that faith is the foundation of things uh, of, of, uh, of things that we hope for, uh, which provides the evidence of things that we're not yet able to see. To see. Come on. She provided a way because she understood that God had it all in his hand. And so she did everything she could for her children, her grandchildren, her great grandchildren, her friends, in order to make sure that they understood that God's got it. No matter what the situation of circumstances, God got it. And she made sure that uh, she would call her children and her grandchildren on Saturday night. Y'all going to bring them children to church in the morning? She made sure that she wanted, to, she wanted to instill within her children and her grandchildren the foundations of Jesus Christ and Christianity. And she would call all the time. So we have... We have a legacy that we must honor, but also we have a mandate that we must follow. We must try to follow within her footsteps. We must try to do the things that she would do. I, I, there was a thing that said, WWJD, what would Jesus do? Well, well, we could change Jesus right now and put Josephine in there. Because Josephine was personal to all of us. And she told us what we needed to do. Now, whether we listen or not, that's a, that's a, that's a whole nother bag. It's a whole nother bag. But the fact of the matter is this. She led, and she led in the way of Jesus. And that she expects her family to walk in the way of Jesus. And she carried herself as a virtuous woman, and she stood up for Jesus. And so now it's time for the family to take that legacy and move forward. It's time for us to take the lessons that she has tried to instill in all of us and move forward. It's time for us to uh, uh, gather around what she was trying to tell us and embody it within our soul, our spirit, our walk. We should, Im we should imbibe what Josephine was telling us to do because it will make a difference. As we stand here right now, there's four other tents out here in this cemetery. And we look around and we see coronavirus is taking out so many thousands of people right now. Thankfully, Josephine was not taken out by coronavirus. She was taken out by an old evil that had been nagging her for a long time. You see, when Jesus was out uh, in the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights, uh, when she conquered Satan like Josephine did on her knees, he went away. But the tale goes on a little bit further. It says that for a time. All right. So he's coming back and trying to take that which God has given. And so we need to move in that direction, understanding that God is... The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, and they that dwell therein. We are the people of his pasture. God has made a way for us, but we must understand that. People are dying left and right, and, and we're walking around like it ain't no big deal. You know, I used to have an S on my chest when I was younger. I thought I was Superman. But the reality is that as I got older, that S began to sink. And I understand that I am capable of receiving and getting caught up in all these things that are happening in the world that will cause me hurt, harm, and danger and lead me in a way and a life away from Jesus. Amen. Jesus is the only, uh, Christianity is the only religion that gives us hope. Amen. You know, yeah. faith. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Faith and hope yeah. are the things that we have. Miss Josephine walked in faith, but uh, uh, 1 Corinthians 13 and 13 says, uh, now faith <laughs> and hope and charity and the greatest one of these is love as i paraphrase the greatest one of these is love and she walked in love and we have to learn to do the same thing we cannot continue to doing the same thing that we're doing now she provided an example that came out of the 30s for us to understand what's going on in 2020. we have walked away from family we have walked away from cultural beliefs. We have walked away from Jesus. We have walked away from the house of God. The house of God is devoid of people now. People turn the other way when they see the house of God. People turn the other way when they hear the word of God. We, as the children of Josephine, need to enhance what she was trying to deliver, and that is the word of God that influences and helps us 
to a point to where we can do exactly what Reverend Dr. Theophilus said, and that is wear a crown. When it's all over, when it's all over, we want to wear a crown. We want to wear a crown. I know you want to wear a crown. And if you don't understand it, you know, now is the time. You know, they say uh, 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 tomorrow it, it has not come. Mm. And yesterday is gone. Mm. So the actions that we must take is in the here and the now. Yeah. The here and the now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They say hallelujah is the highest praise. But that is a falsity in my estimation. Because the highest praise is when you make a change. Mm. When you change your life. When you move. Our repentance means turning around, going the other way. And if you're going this way, God say you need to repent. And if you repent, you turn around and you go the other way. You make a gesture toward God. And you have to do that. It's not a question. We're running from an invisible disease and refuse to recognize an invisible God. All right. Amen. That's something. The one that said that he will save us, we don't recognize him, but we're running. We all camped up. And, and, and kept up in the house in quarantine because of this invisible disease they call COVID-19. But we're scared to run to the house of God and receive that invisible God. Amen, and amen. he's waiting on us. Yes, it's not that he's going to do something for you. He's waiting on us to Wait make no. a yeah. move. Yeah. Right now. Right now. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. If you feel, okay, that your life is not moving in the way that it should be moving, then you have the opportunity, even at this funeral, to turn your life over to God. There's plenty of ministers around here that's willing to accept you. We didn't ask you to ask to join no church. We asked you to join Jesus. We asked you to get under the blood of Jesus and get to a point to where you carry the blood-stained banner of Jesus in everything that you do. Think about it. Will you be able, when your time comes, to Thank sing you. that same song, we shall wear a crown. Amen. When we look at the tail of the tape, when we look at the man in the mirror, do we see God? God places things on us as, as the same as a, 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 a purifier of gold. When they purify gold, they turn the heat up and it starts to melt. Yeah. Then they take a wiper off and they wipe all the dirty stuff off, yeah. the impurities that come yeah. up. God, every challenge and change that we have God is turning up the heat. Amen. And we Amen. must Amen. learn Amen. and recognize Amen. and realize that we Come cannot get through until we go through. Amen. And every Amen. step goes higher and higher. Amen. And we have to realize that for every step, for every level that we achieve in Christ, there's a new devil. Every level presents Amen. a new devil. But we must be able and prepare to take the stand. God, the word tells us that when you've done all that you can't stand. Amen. And then when you finish standing, then he says, stand the more. Amen. Keep on standing. That's right. Because Amen. there is blessings on the other side Amen. of fruit. Amen. Don't look at these things that we go through as, 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 as problems and look at them as opportunities to get what God has for you. Amen. Because he will continue to turn up the heat on you until when he finally gets done with that goal and he looks over into that goal he wants to be able to see the reflection of himself amen amen in you in you in you in you in you and in me god is calling us all to come to him we have the opportunity right now and I will real repeat it again. Time is running out, but I will repeat it again. If you feel that you need to come to God, there are plenty of ministers here that are willing to take your home and make a way for you Amen. to become saved, Amen. to gain salvation. Right now, is anybody here? Anybody here? Some may say this is a bad time to be trying to open the doors of the church. Yeah, but what about tomorrow? Not promised. Tomorrow's not promised. Look at the way the people are dying. Yesterday is gone. You can't count on yesterday. Right. What happened yesterday is gone. And tomorrow is not promised. The time is now. Right now. For anyone that wants to give themselves over to Christ, come now. Come now. Miss Josephine is clapping her hands right now because she knows that she wants her family to walk in the ways of God. Amen. 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 Family don't know, but Miss Josephine called me from the hospital. 
They don't know. She said, pray for my children. Pray for my children. She called me from her sickbed, not concerned with what she was going through, but concerned for her children and her grandchildren. Pray, Jay, she said. Pray for my children. They need prayer. Oh, yeah. Yes, Lord. And until we all recognize the fact that we need to get on board with Jesus, we're going to continue to wander off all over everywhere. Amen. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Because Josephine has gone on. We thank God for her life and her legacy. Amen. Because she has produced wonderful children. Her children were two. Amen. Children, grandchildren, great grandchildren. She had a full quiver. God blessed her immensely. Now it's up to us, those that have followed through, to stand up and act in her legacy. I challenge you all, friends as well as family, to get up and do the things that she would have, she would, she would want you to do. And that is walk in the ways of Jesus, who is the Christ. Some may not think that that's 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 uh, you know a lot of people nowadays don't think that uh, Christianity and religion means anything. You know, some think that any any God is okay. Some think that I can sit at home and I can I can pray to myself. But the the, the, the Bible tells us that forsake not the sin of the Spirit. That has some meaning, whether we realize it or not. And so we need to come together, whether we do in a synagogue type scenario in a home, or whether we do in a, a formalized church. We need to come to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Come to Jesus. Amen. Ain't no joke. Ain't no joke. You think it's a joke, you go out there and see all those people that are being buried now. See all those people that came out of New York City that they, they didn't know they were dying. Jesus. With that, I, I, I turn it back over to the one that's presiding over this service, uh, Pastor Hibbert. Amen. And again, you may not want to commit yourself right now on all these folks. But I ask that you would consider the things that I have said. Amen, amen. Because they're the things that Jesus wants you to do. Amen. Not only Jesus, but Miss Josephine. Amen. Wonderful amen. woman. Treated me well. As I said, I came into the family 35 years ago and I brought I brought baggage with me. I had two kids with me. They were morphed into the family before I knew it. I was like, hey, what's going on? You know, they were there. She adopted them. She kept them. She she prayed over them. She, she did all she could for them. And I thank God for that. Because that's what we should be doing to one another. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Family and friends. This rose, this rose we hold represents the lad, the this rose that we hold represents the laugh, the love, and the tears that we shed for the shelter made. You all keep this rose as a keepsake. Or you can lay it on the cast for farewell. Amen. 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 My day. My day. I'm 
To the ministers of the gospel is the conversation for those words to come and also be able to say thank you. And to this family on behalf of Seller Smith's funeral home and the whole entire staff, we'd like to take this opportunity and say thank you for allowing us to serve you during this difficult time. If there's anything you said or done to lighten your burden, any small way, surely our goal and aim has been accomplished. But family, friends, allow me to share with you a few more words of encouragement. A songwriter once wrote, time is filled with swift transition. Not on earth, I move and stand. Build your hopes on things eternal. Family and friends, hold on to God's unchanging hands. At this time, we'll have the release of the dub. We ask the family to stand at this time for me, please. Family and friends, these does symbolize love, peace, and happiness. Just on the other day, our dear mother so did take flight to be with the Lord. So as you join with me in saying farewell, 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 farewell. farewell. fly home. Fly home. Fly home.